We're going to move from Jersey to Queens right now. Q Burrow. You see this young man right here? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He's a spitter, Heather B. He's been putting out projects. A lot of legacy in Queens, too. A lot of legacy in Queens, huh? That's a fact. A lot of history in Queens. That's a fact. Th this young man, uh, somebody gifted him a journal uh, at one point in his life. And from that journal, he was able to start writing and creating that led to his first mixtape. Am I mistaken about that? No, that is correct. That is correct, right? He's put out projects ever since. Um, have the B. He had a song called "Moment of Earnesty." You kind of, I was gonna look up, look it up, and play it for you right now, but that kind of led to who he is today. Okay. I want to welcome him to the show, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Ernest. Let's get it, hey, Ernest. Love, Ernest is here. Um, actually, uh, "Moment of Earnesty" was a series. It was a series you did. Okay. Yeah, it was like multiple like freestyles and shit that like I would put on, like put on, and like try to express myself on other people's beats because it resonated with other people type shit. Okay. Yeah. That, what, what 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 made you like? What inspired you to do that? to express yourself through rap? Oh, uh, honestly, when I got the book, like, through the poetry, because mm -hmm. I was, like, a quiet kid. And, like, I never, like, spoke really or, mm -hmm. like, voiced my opinion about certain shit, so it was, like, it, it led me to this. How you know, old like, were you at that time? Ah, oh, damn. I was, like, uh... I would say 16, 17. When you think about Queens, because we talked about the rich history of Queens, because there's obviously Run DMC, there's LL, there's Nas, there's 50, there's the Lost Boys, there's you, there's so much in Queens, you know. Um, what part of Queens are you from? I'm from Southside. Oh, 50, Southside, you're yeah. the key rising to the top. That's the national <laughs> anthem over there, I know. Yeah. I'll be on, I yeah, know. It's, it's okay. Out there. And it's, it's, it's tough over there, too. I mean, growing up in that neighborhood. Not really. It's just like, if you're looking for trouble, you're going to find it. Okay. But like, other than that, like, yeah, it's, it's cool. Okay. I mean, I don't see nothing happening. You never had any fights you growing up? I mean, I did get in the altercations, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, like, sometimes it just can't be avoided, so. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, so, it's, it's different, be, South Side. Because the the picture that you, you, you hear painted in these songs and make you feel like you got to go outside and quit with a vest on. Well, you know what? It's the time. Well, the timing, too. He's exactly, younger. I was going to you know, say. He's, he's a lot younger now than, I guess you would say, like a 50, when 50 was coming up uh -huh. in different times, a lot of those people are not necessarily on the streets no more, but yeah. these people like them emulating their lifestyle. But he's right. You know, you could get into trouble anywhere you go. How mm -hmm. old are you now? I'm 20. You're 20? Oh, 20? oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, super nah, young. Yeah, okay. That, that stuff. <laughs> It was right. ended. They, they daddies went. His parents went. Through yeah, it, you thank know. God. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's good, man. Um, and you, so you, how did you, how did you find the wherewithal to put your music out? Where, cause you know, Jake, he went to school to study how to become an engineer, a sound guy, a producer. How did you do it? You just, it was just trial and error, really. Okay. You just see what platforms work, what doesn't, and then, um, yeah, you just find your process through that, or what? your um, your machine through that, like how your, you work. I like yeah. how you said that. You find your machine, your system. Yeah. Through that, what platforms work best for you? Did you find? I would say Spotify, mm -hmm. SoundCloud, because that's where like everybody goes, like when they begin. Mm -hmm. And then I would say Apple Music as well. Okay. And Audio Mac. And Can't Audio, Audio Mac. Mac. You yeah. said you were a quiet kid and didn't really say much. Um, what's your family like? Went to private school. Your mother for siblings. What's you know? What's your background? Uh, my parents are from Haiti. They Ooh. came here. Yeah, suck up fat Haitians. <laughs> yeah. Right, right yeah. here. Oh, 1804 so. completely. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Um, yeah, they came here from um, from Haiti, and then they they both went to college. Yeah. Okay. So it it was it was a pretty quiet life, like. You have siblings? Well, you have brothers? Oh, yes. I have a lot of siblings. I have about four brothers and three sisters. That but all grew up in the house with you? Not in the same oh, house. Okay. Uh, two, two of the siblings were from a different mom. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So but good. Yeah. Could you give advice to introverts out there? A lot of times they're dismissed. A lot of times it's hard just to step into the spotlight. Like, How are you able to bring yourself even to the mic right here? Like, you just can't. Honestly, it's the people who surround you. If you have good support around you, then you'll find that confidence in yourself. Also, don't fight that gut feeling. Like, mm. if you feel it, like it's, it's in your palms, bro. Like you have it. Like mm -hmm. that's that's the advice I would give to somebody. How, how do you know you're good, or is that not important? Uh, I feel like if you're just having fun. I mean, it's a difference if you trash or if you're good. But okay. if, I feel like if you're having fun at the end of the day and expressing yourself, then you're good at it. You're good at it, right? Yeah. This is my man Ernest. Give out your social, man. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Triller at Ernest, E-A-R-N-E-S-T dot X. And also, 
Uh, TikTok, you can find me at All Right Ernie, A L R I T E underscore Ernie. You put out a project uh, called Heartbreak Kid? Yes, I put out three projects this year, actually. Okay, okay. But that Heartbreak Kid was about what? That was like a breakup. Like, you know, it was like, you know, everybody yeah. goes through that, you know, yeah, that yeah, one breakup. You, you went through that, dog? <laughs> yeah, bro. I yeah. felt it. <laughs> I felt that. <laughs> Shit, well, how old were you? Because you're only 20. Huh? How old were you? I was like 18. It was like my first girlfriend, you know, like my first actual girlfriend. Girlfriend, okay. Yeah. Yeah. What she, she do, dude? What happened? Was it communication? It was, it was honestly just me. Like, I don't know. Like, when you first step into a relationship, nobody really, like, tells you what's going on. Mm-hmm. Everybody is just at, like, an outside standpoint and then just telling you how their um how their relationships went. Mm-hmm. So, at the end of the day, their advice is just based off their experiences. So, it's like, I would take that and base that off of mine and, and not, like, stand up and do my own thing type shit. So. What, what did the girlfriend tell you? What did she say was wrong? Uh, She, she cried and stuff. She oh. told me a lot. I got a, I got a, I got an earful. Yeah, you yeah. learn from it. Absolutely, bro. Yeah, Absolutely. <laughs> y'all still amicable. You know, like Kylie and uh, Travis, they're still cool. They got a I baby. Guess, I guess sweat. so. I, mean, <laughs> I don't like her. Also. Did it make for good music though? A lot of times, an experience like that can actually be great for the work. Yeah, it did. It hurt though. Of course, it hurt like a bitch. But you yeah. still going through it, dog? Oh hell no! Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, yeah, gonna, I'm, I'm a new man now. You're a new man now. <laughs> yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay, we gonna play this song "Gold Chain." Then is that cool? Yeah, that's cool. We gonna play that mm-hmm. and tell them what's that about? Uh, "Gold Chain" is just about being yourself. Um, I actually made the song with my boy Kyel. He's actually sitting over there, my boy. Huh? Yeah, yeah, Kyel over there is a producer, yeah. right? The producer of Go Chain, and this mm. is really just about having fun. You got to go chain. You don't want people wasting your time. Just go do your thing. Here's Ernest, Sway in the Morning, Shade Four Five. Yeah.